Jacqueline and today we're going to be learning about how to use a lemon to make a battery. Let's get started. Perfect! These are the things that you're going to need. Galvanized nails, these are coated with zinc. Some alligator clips, lemons, an LED light, and some copper sheets. But if you can't find copper sheets, you can also use pennies. As we know, energy can't be created or destroyed, but it can be transformed into something else. Let's think about batteries. You can think of a battery like a storage closet. Batteries hold a lot of chemical energy, which can be transformed into electrical energy. Batteries have three main components. Electrolytes allow electricity to be conducted. Anodes and cathodes, or our electrodes, they help the flow of electricity. Our zinc is our anode, our copper is our cathode, and our lemon juice, our electrolyte. As soon as zinc comes in contact with the lemon juice, something called oxidizing happens. That means our zinc starts to lose its electrons. Copper steals all of these electrons, and before you know it, we have completed an energy circuit. The first thing you want to do is roll out your lemons. This is going to get the juices flowing and loosen up the pulp a little bit. Then what you want to do is make a little incision in your lemon big enough for the copper to fit inside. Place the copper penny in halfway, and do the same for the rest of the lemons. Grab your zinc nails and push it through the lemon. Grab yourself your alligator clips and let's make an energy circuit. Take one wire and clip it to the very end of the copper penny. Grab another wire, attach it to the zinc nail and from the zinc nail to the next copper penny. Do this until the very end. Once you finish that, there's only one thing to do and that's to complete the energy circuit. joining me. I hope you guys try this at home and I will see you next time. Bye!